Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, in this uh, lecture, I just will try to simplify a very important topic in a head and neck cancer patient, which is called the uh, ear pain or referred ear pain in head and neck cancer patients. Maybe it came or happened uh, once upon a time that your consultant is asking me um, this is a patient with oropharyngeal cancer how um, and he presented to us with ear pain how do you think this pain is coming from or like in an exam question with a patient with locally advanced uh, laryngeal cancer he tell you this patient will uh, present to us with ear pain how do you think the pain is coming from or how the patient or why do you think this this pain is related to his cancer? So it's very important to understand the reason or the causes of ear pain in head and neck cancer patients. There is two types of ear pain in cancer in head and neck cancer, or two reason or two causes. Let's say two major uh, types. The first is called the primary, which is um, like a tumor invading the ear, causing direct pain or like a skin cancer infiltrating the cartilage or infiltrating the nerves around the ear also it will cause ear pain there also there is a pain related to obstruction of the ostachian tube as we mentioned that in the nasopharyngeal uh, carcinoma uh, lecture before but the most important one i think or the would be in the exam uh, question will be the referred pain in head and neck cancer patient and to remember it or to um to make it as simple as possible i'm putting for you here uh, what what i call it the rule of thumb of uh, three for for um for each uh, uh type and location of pain you have to remember the following you have to remember three sites for the pain around the ear you have to remember three peripheral nerves you have to remember three cranial nerves and you have to remember your tumor sites and remember three tumor location or tumor sites so how can we do that so let's start by the first um, one if you look if you look at your ear you have three types of uh, or location for the pain the pain can come in the preauricular region it can be within the canal deep auricular but it can also be post auricular um, around the ear to start with you need to know the location so the preauricular deep auricular or post auricular this is number one the second question we asked was which peripheral nerve will be responsible for this pain which cranial nerve will be responsible for this care uh, for this pain and the last thing is where is my primary tumor is located so let's start by the preauricular pain by using the word preauricular i will remember the nerve which will start by auriculo temporal nerve so the preauricular the word auricular will help me or guide me for the first nerve which is the auriculotemporal nerve we all know that auriculotemporal nerve is coming from exactly from the trigeminal the it's a one of the branches of the trigeminal the third division the mandibular and it's giving it will give us the auriculotemporal nerve so this is the peripheral nerve so for the pain located in front of the ear in the preauricular region we have to remember the peripheral nerve auriculotemporal nerve and you can remember it from the preauricular auriculotemporal auriculotemporal is the fifth to so mandibular division v3 this is the cranial nerve and the last where will be my tumor just think about any location within the head and neck supplied by the fifth cranial nerve so if you say oral cavity tumor um, uh, oral tongue um, we can cause ear pain and now we know that the uh, ear pain will be in the pre-auricular region let's move to the second side which will be the deep auricular with the deep auricular you will see your patient pointing with his little finger inside his ear will tell you the pain is inside the ear and if you just remember it like that by point, pointing with your, your little finger inside the ear as if you are pointing to the tympanic membrane the tympanic membrane so the deep auricular 
tympanic membrane remember the nerve or the peripheral nerve then peripheral nerve is called the tympanic nerve the tympanic nerve or also you can call it the nerve of Jacobson maybe you remember the nerve of Jacobson but it is called also the tympanic nerve so the tympanic nerve is a peripheral nerve or you can call it the nerve of Jacobson so if the pain is in the canal is in the ear deep so this is the the tympanic nerve this is the peripheral nerve called the jacobson nerve peripheral nerve the, the tympanic nerve is coming from the glossopharyngeal the glossopharyngeal nerve the glossopharyngeal nerve is the ninth cranial nerve so and the last question will be where will be my tumor we know that the glossopharyngeal nerve is supplying the orofang so if you have a patient with or for angel cancer he may have pain in his ear and now we know the peripheral nerve is called Jacobson or tympanic nerve we now know the location of the pain we now know the location of the tumor and the cranial nerve will be cranial nerve number nine the glossopharyngeal nerve the last location will be the post auricular region the post auricular region again i will use the word auricular to remember my peripheral nerve auricular will be the auricular branch of arnold auricular branch of arnold auricular branch of arnold and this is the peripheral nerve and the auricular branch of arnold is coming from the excellent the vagus cranial nerve number 10 cranial nerve number 10 so if you think about the tumor location think about an area where the cranial nerve and number 10 has something to do which will be the superior laryngeal nerve from in within the, the the larynx so if the tumor you have a tumor in the larynx you have a tumor in the hypopharynx you can easily remember that your tumor is causing irritation through the vagus which will be the cranial through the auricular branch of arnold which will be the peripheral nerve and here we are we localized the peripheral nerve the cranial nerve the tumor site as well as the location for the pain itself and if you look at it easily you can see you will see that it's very it's very well uh, organized to remember and it's in order so if you look at your ear in the pre-auricular region this is five the deep auricular is nine the post auricular is ten so five nine 10 and if you looked at the location of the tumor is also very well organized it's oral cavity backward oropharynx downward hypopharynx and and larynx so it's easy to remember and if you put it in front of yourself in the form of a table you will you will see that i'm trying to stress on few uh, letters in each column so i'm talking about the pre-auricular auricular temporal the deep auditory canal you can call it deep auricular so that you remember it and then the post auricular will be the auricular nerve of arnold it's for simplicity it's to make life much easier for you and i hope it's useful for you and this figure you can you can find it in, in in any book actually any head and neck chapter you can see this figure and the nice thing is that you can hide the peripheral nerve you can hide the uh, the um the um the uh the, the the cranial nerve and then you can uh, uh, try to rehearse it and remember it so when you see here for example in this uh, figure you can see that the lingual nerve here is nerve number five auriculotemporal nerve the nerve uh, in, uh, in in front of the ear supplying the area in front of the ear and then you remember it you don't have to remember the like the lingual but i have to remember that the region supplied in this area for example is the trigeminal which means that oral cancer or floor of mouth cancer can cause ear pain and now i know how how things is 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 working now I hope that by just uh, make things simple like that you will find it useful and you will never forget it and will be at the tip of your finger the pre-auricular deep auricular post auricular pre-auricular auricular temporal post auricular auricular branch of Arnold 
the deep auricular tympanic glossopharyngeal nerve of Jacobson, glossopharyngeal oropharynx, preauricular oral cavity, postauricular the uh, superior laryngeal hypopharynx and larynx. If you mixed up, you will never forget it because you you are correlating each pain site with the nerve and you know how to do it and you know how, now how to stratify it. It's honestly speaking, it's a kind of theory more in practice because if you are doing a lot of head and neck, you will see that the patient is describing an ear pain, but it's, it's not very common or let's say that the majority of patients may not be able to describe it for you exactly. He will not tell you it's here in the preauricular region or it's in deep auricular region, the postauricular region. Some would describe it as ear pain, but he cannot tell you exactly where is it and they feel like it's a diffuse ear pain. But at the end, you know exactly where it is located, how it, why it is there and how the referral of pain will happen and then you can explain it for your patient as well in a very easy in a very easy way if you if you find this lecture uh, useful please um, share it with your colleagues um, I don't mean by sharing is sharing the video please share the information itself try to share the information with your colleague you don't have to mention my name you don't have to mention the, the YouTube channel channel just do it for the sake of spread of information for for to help your colleagues to help your junior to remind a very important information that can be useful clinically it can be also can be reassuring for the patient some patient would say uh, look um, um did, did the tumor spread to my ear or how, how this pain is is there then you can explain it in a very simple in a very simple way hopefully this lecture is uh, useful and let's meet again later on in in the nasopharyngeal carcinoma